You're looking a little dirty. You're looking a little smudged. Welcome to Philadelphia. Today is our day off. So we're going to go get some food and maybe see a movie later or something. Who knows? The world's our oyster cake today. We can do whatever the hell we want. We're, we're crazy mad boys. Matt's over here drinking a LaCroix. Oh, not even pinky out, double finger out. What can you expect when you got the mad lads out on tour? Probably gonna go do some cocaine now, I think. <laughs> this guy fucks. Since we're in Philly, we thought that it would be great to go see the Liberty Bell, but the lineup is absolutely massive. So we're not actually waiting in line to go see the Liberty Bell. We're just gonna go here and look at it from outside. Wow. Oh, you can't see the crack from here though. I'm all about that crack. So there you go, Lady Liberty. She's a beaut. She's got a big, nice crack. Awesome. <laughs> We, we know how to tour us real good. We go to these places, we know, we know how to life hack our way through them. But look at all these pretty flowers. Wow, and there's a nice building over there. You're getting um, Jacksepticeye's uh, whirlwind tour of the east coast of America. Freedom. Hey look, it's that musical guy people keep telling me to look at. Sorry, Alex. I ain't buying what you're selling. There's the real Liberty crack right there. You see it? This is where um, the bullet from the bullet from uh, James Elmer Foods gun cracked right past Bugs Bunny. History, Philadelphia. It's full of culture. This is the best part of the trip so far. What are you doing there? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, super overexposed bloom face guy. We stopped to get some lunch. I am getting some French toast, but we also got some drinks. Because in Philly, you start early. You drink early, you get fucked early. That's the plan. <laughs> also, I realized that most of my the previous part of the vlog was me shitting on the culture. <laughs> Not my intention. It was like a bunch of funny bits all together, and then I realized, wait, I didn't take any of this seriously. Which is a really cool town. There's a lot of culture here, a lot of history, of which I know very little about, and sadly we don't have the time to go around and look at it too much. But it's pretty cool. A lot of, a lot of uh, big things went down here. But I'm really excited about the French toast. That's what I'm really going for right now. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good day. Still gonna send it. Guys, you wanna go see Hamilton? It's playing in this ex exhibition center right now. Guys, we should go see Hamilton. Guys? Oh, I see a bunch of Aaron Burrs around here. I see how it is. When the moon hits your eye, that a bigger pizza pie, that's... Amore. Look at this cool fountain. All these people hanging around, it's a lovely sunny day. We're heading to a place where Rocky defeated his own disciplines. There you go. Rocky went up against life and decided to climb some steps and then at the top of it he put his hands in the air and the entire town of Philadelphia came out and cheered for him. And that's how he won the Super Bowl. So we're heading to go see where Rocky won the Super Bowl. Our outdoor journey is not complete. Until we get that box. Yes, they didn't put my name on it this time. So they didn't spell it wrong, they just didn't put it down. All right, we made it here. Rocky didn't show up for the big bout. Just gotta, I was gonna, I was hoping I would have another YouTuber boxing match going on in my video, but sadly Rocky didn't turn up. But his steps did. This is where Rocky runs up. You know, in the montage. Ba, 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 da, ba. Okay, people are crossing the street and we're about to die. But there's like a, a whole statue thing going on there. There's wind going on, but there's steps that are pretty cool. You know, we just love steps. And then there's a rocky statue over there that we'll get to in a minute. But there's also horse poo on the ground. Hell yeah, look at this. Look at this shit. Wow. What up? 
I'm Trey. I love hanging out in your shit. Climbing steps out of breath. Climbing steps. Did it. Made it tough. I'm ready for a fight, coach. Seven. So, I mean, next next step. We have to go box some meat. We have to find an abattoir somewhere though where they'll let us do this. But look at that! Philadelphia. Lots of steps. That guy's training. Crushing it. This is pretty cool though. I didn't think that, I didn't know that that was here. I got up today. Okay, it's windy. I'm sorry if you can't hear me in the wind, but it is actually kind of cool that people are still up here training like Rocky was. And this building is really fucking awesome. I just wish it wasn't so windy out. It's nice and sunny, and it's not cold. It's just windy. I don't like Wendy's. There's no swimming. In the concrete pool. Yeah, I think, I think I'm okay. I think I'll avoid swimming in there. If I go swimming in there, I'm just gonna end up with... Dang. There he is. Balbo boy. Just wait in line to get a picture with him. I don't want to do that. I need ice cream, ice cream. I want, I want ice cream. Everybody else is talking about ice cream. Where's the ice cream? I want ice cream. Uh, out of the Uber and into the theater. We are going to an IMAX theater and we're going to go see Ready Player One again. Um, me and Zena have already seen it. We went to the premiere of it in London, which was really fun. But now we are going to watch it in IMAX and I've never seen an IMAX movie before. So I'm incredibly excited, but also a little nauseous because that Uber ride almost made me sick. It's a good day for me. This is a very good day for me. I'm also going to vlog the whole movie so you guys can see the whole thing with me. So don't worry about it. This is going to be uh, the world's first three and a half hour vlog. Uh, also, if I need to take a pee break, I'll bring you guys to that. Also, you just saw me spit on my own sleeve. It's a good day for everybody. Great day out for the parish. Well, big time. <laughs> That's Matt's catchphrase. Every time we go up to him, he's like, big time. The future's amazing, guys. This is a welcome to the movie. Escalator simulator. It's true what they say, everything's better in IMAX. You're taller than me, I don't like it. We need to level out, there we go. No. <laughs> hey, it's me. Kind of forgot to vlog for the rest of the evening because stuff was going on and we were all having a, all out having fun with friends. Um, but we went to see Ready Player One again. Cena and I had already seen it. I said this already. But we went to see Pl Ready Player One again and second time through, did not like that movie. First time through, I think I was kind of blinded by the fact that we got to go to the premiere of it and we got to see like some of the people in the movie outside first. And then going to see it and I was like, I had such low expectations for it that it was just a visual treat for my eyes and there were so many video game references that I was like, nah. This game is, er, this video, or movie, video, is fun. Um, but then watching it a second time with everybody else here, I'm like, eh, maybe it's not as fun as I remember it being. Because there was a lot more groan-inducing sections and a lot of the references. I was like, man, there are a lot of references in this. Um, but it was a fun night out. And I got to go to an IMAX theater for the first time, which... The guys on the tour said that it's not a full IMAX experience, that this one is kind of a, like a, a shitty imitation of IMAX, so I still... Oh, I'm out of focus. I still didn't get the full IMAX experience, so maybe one day we will, but I had a fun day in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is bigger than I imagined it being. Um, both towns are, but we, we didn't do a whole lot today, so that's why not a whole lot happens in some of the vlogs, because when you have a day off, it's just a day for like rest and relaxation. I don't want to spend all day just sitting here talking to a camera all the time, and not everyone on the tour likes when you take out a camera to record them, so I don't really want to do that either, so I want to take you guys along and show, show what we're doing, and make you feel like you're part of the tour as well for the people who couldn't actually come to the shows, but also just take it easy and 
know my limits and not go too far with it but today was fun these rest days are badly needed and this is the last rest day that we get tomorrow we have the philadelphia show after that we have the washington show and then we have the last show in boston so there's only three shows left and i can't believe that we're like for the longest time i was wondering like okay when is halfway because once halfway is over whenever you're doing tours or shows or anything like this whenever halfway is done it flies past like the last few shows fly past and it already went past halfway and now we're already almost done i'm kind of sad i, I want to stay out on the road and i want to hang out with people a whole lot more and to me it felt like it was going to be longer because we have to go into packs after this so after this we have to go into the four days of packs and do all of that stuff which is going to be really fun i love packs but i keep forgetting that that's not part of the tour so everybody who's here has to go home so all the people who are on the bus right now behind me, they all have to go home soon and we don't get to hang out anymore. And I don't know, whenever you're out on tour with people for like two weeks, you become a little family and it's so sad to say goodbye to everybody. So I don't, I don't want the tour to be over yet. So I'm going to try and make the most of my time here now in these last few shows. And um, soon, today is Sunday, uh, Tuesday, Robin comes over. Um, which I'm really excited about. Robin actually gets to come to the last couple of shows, which is going to be really fun. So I'm excited for the last few. Tomorrow's show is going to be crazy because tomorrow's is the largest venue out of the entirety of this leg. Um, and it's sold out. So that's going to be absolutely bananas. I'm so much looking forward to this show. But as of right now, everybody else is having fun in the bus. I'm going to go in, drink a few beers, have a few Jolly Ranchers. One of which I had to spit out before I came out here to talk. Um, but really fun day. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching these vlogs. Um, hopefully they're fun. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of them. And you feel like you're actually here on this sort of tour with us and on this journey. But thanks guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha